all in. Opening the main card meet, push all of your chips in. Go all in. It's Blindado Bruno Silva taking on Brendan Allen. You know him as all in. And Brendan Allen is a minus 185 favorite in this one. And to be honest, has been looking better than ever. Brendan Allen is one of those guys who every single time we see him, you can see the noticeable improvements that he's making in the striking department, in the wrestling, in the grappling, in the in-betweens. I mean, this guy really put on a masterclass performance when he got performance of the night against Andre Muniz just a couple months ago. And that was a fight where a lot of people thought Muniz was going to be too much in the grappling department. But Brendan Allen was able to beat him wherever that fight went and got a third round finish over Muniz, which was pretty shocking to a lot of people. But Brendan Allen, again, was riding that beautiful win streak. He took out Sam Alvey by finish. He beat J Jacob Malkoon by decision, and Malkoon is another guy who continues to get better and better, and I think that win will continue to age gracefully. And then he smoked Jocko, performance of the night there, and sent Kristoff over to the PFL. So Brendan Allen, since losing to Chris Curtis in a confusing matchup back in December of 2021, is kind of peaking right now. So I'm interested to see if he can take out Blin Dotto, who a lot of people are starting to write him off, right? He's 22-6. and six. Had a beautiful three-fight win streak to start his UFC tenure, but they fed him to Pereira. Pereira beat him unanimous, and there was that wasn't the most concerning thing because Blindado did show a good account for himself in that contest, but it was the next fight against GM3 where a lot of people hopped off the Blindado hype train because GM3 kind of made light easy work over Blindado, which was very confusing, and it's tough with GM3 because sometimes he's the GOAT, sometimes he's the worst, but... Against Blindado, he looked like the GOAT, and everyone hopped off, but Blindado, as a dog, came through and just beat Brad Tavares just a few months ago, and a couple interesting things about that fight was Blindado picked up performance of the night for his efforts, and he was able to finish Brad in the first round, and Brad Tavares, as if you know, is a guy who's been around the UFC forever, and historically doesn't get slept by a lot of guys. I think Shabazian's the only other one to do it, and that was surprising as well. So for Blindado to get that finish over Ble uh, over uh, Brad Tavares, I thought was impressive, but is it going to be enough for him to stop the momentum that Brendan Allen has? Do you like Allen as minus 185 favorite, or is Blindado going to keep his win streak alive and get the finish? You know... Going back to the other videos, I like momentum, and Brennan Allen has insane momentum right now. There's no way he loses to Bruno Blindada Silva. Um, I just don't see any way he loses, and getting knocked out by him, maybe. You know, I see where Tapology is going with that, but I don't know. I think Brennan Allen actually KOs Bruno Silva or submits him. I know for a fact that this will not go the distance. If this goes the distance, I'll be mind blown, and it's probably going to be a bloodbath war. Um, but I just don't see this being close. I think Brennan Allen, all in, is fully evolved, fully peaking, has gone full Super Saiyan, and he's going to put on another clinic like he has been recently. Yeah, clinic it was most recently because it was just start to finish domination over a tough ranked guy in Andre Muniz. And I mean, one thing that's interesting about Brendan Allen is the kid's only 27, right? And this guy keeps getting better and better. So maybe one, two, three years from now when Brendan Allen really peaks, perhaps this guy is a future champ. And I'm kind of with you. I think that Blin Dotto, while is, he's always going to uh, present tough fights to most guys at middleweight, I don't think he's going to be well-rounded enough to stop Brendan Allen. And Tapology kind of agrees with this. Me, 80% is rolling with Brendan Allen. Majority is copper for that sub. A little bit of beige for the decision and a very slight sliver of brown for the Allen KO. But 20% of Silva backers, meanwhile, it's basically all brown. And I kind of agree with that. I think that Bruno Silva's only pathway in this fight is to win by KO. I think the longer this fight goes, the worse it's going to get for Bruno Silva. I don't see a world where Bruno wins a decision. And submission, personally, I think is a pipe dream. So I like Brendan Allen in this one. I like him by finish. And I like where your head's at me with that KO TKO because it's probably going to be plus 450-ish range. I mean, we see that very slight brown sliver for the Allen KO. And if Brendan Allen's able to impose his will, get this fight to the mat where he likely will, I can see a world where Brendan Allen just starts teeing off and is able to pick up a ground and pound TKO. So I'm with you all the way. I am all in on Brendan Allen. I think he makes light work of Blindado in this one, but maybe Blindado comes, sleeps him, shuts us up. I don't see it though, me. I'm with you all the way. Any last thoughts? Nope. Um, throw in the comments, who are you taking? Are you taking all in or Blindado?